hello everyone and welcome to devils united today i thought i'd do a quick video just to announce here we go Antonet is officially a manchester united player for 100 million euros um Antonet has been a priority of eric ten hag for the entire transfer window we all know that we did need Antonia in this squad in particular um, Antony has said right from May to the new Ajax manager, I want to be at Manchester United, please let me go. Um, in terms of Antony, based off the current squad, we're very thin in terms of our strikers. We've got Martial, who's constantly injured, Cristiano Ronaldo, who wants to leave Manchester United. We've got Jadon Sancho, Anthony Alango, we've got Marcus Rashford. And we've got a guy, Nacho, who personally you, you wouldn't play uh, just based off the lack of game time, just based off the fact that he's still only very young and we can't tamper it on his development. Um, Antony, currently uh, in his early 20s, still not hit his prime, which is great. Going to be official, uh, the most expensive player to come from Dutch League, which is extremely interesting. He's played under Eric Ten Hag before, so Ten Hag, just like Martinez, he knows how he works, knows how to be trained, what is best for Antony, and he's our next right winger, which we need. We've only got Sancho at the moment, who's a right wing player. No other wingers we have at Manchester United can play on that right hand side. Um, to have that option is great, and we know that Sancho has worked a lot better on the left in this past year at Manchester United so it gives options it even rests Alanga and I think Alanga does need a rest we can't consistently play Alanga on a time to time basis um even though we have signed Anthony which we need we still need to look at the likes of Gapo Memphis Depay for 10 million euros let's be honest 10 million euros is an absolute bargain uh, especially in this transfer market but I'd be very wary, let's just say, on making deals with Barcelona. And we also need to remember everybody, regardless of who we sign, we can't stop the movement of Glazers out. Um, we, um, we need to continue to get that trending all over social media. We need to say, right, enough is enough now. We can't give the benefit of the doubt like a lot of people done last season once we signed Cristiano Ronaldo. We can't do that. We need to continue this because it's just going to go into the same circle, circle, circle every single year. Um, I love this club, but we need to say, right, enough is enough now. Um, so please continue this movement and hopefully we get some more signings we need to strengthen in terms of a goalkeeper we've had trap linked we've also had newcastle goalkeeper linked as well uh we need a right wing right back who um we've had nobody linked at the moment but there's baku there's dumfries not saying we're necessarily going to get them but there are options we need to take and we need a central midfielder um just to compete there, just for a bit more security. Because for me, the midfielders we got aren't good enough to compete into the next levels of Manchester United. Uh, yeah, so Antony, here we go. Absolutely happy with the signing. But overall, we just need to continue now into the Glazers Out movement. Thank you everyone for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button.